This video shows how to determine the density of air. The first step is to measure the mass of the bottle containing the rubber plug and the washer and the air inside. And it appears as if our mass is 119.6 grams. The next step is the hard part. I'm going to stand up for this. You now pump out all the air. Place it back on the balance. The mass of the air pumped out is 0 0.5 grams. The next step of the investigation is a bit tedious, so we'll pretend we're doing it. You allow air back into the bottle, if you wish. And then you go through the painstaking process of very meticulously filling this bottle with water until the water is all the way up to the top. You then pour the water into the graduated cylinder step by step until you're able to determine the exact volume of the water that was in the plastic bottle. This takes some time, probably about five minutes. We discover that the volume of the bottle is 637 milliliters. If you were to divide these values you would find that the density of air is 0 0.001 grams per milliliter. This means that one milliliter of air has a mass of 0 0.001 grams. Because 1,000 milliliters make up one liter, it may be more wise to report the density of gases in units of grams per liter. A liter contains 1,000 milliliters. If we were to report the density of air in grams per liter, it would come out to be one. Coincidence? I think not.